Hey, welcome back to New World Nerds. I'm Superman Nico. I'm your friendly neighborhood gamer. And today we'll be going through the top five things we want to see in Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi. But wait, we're not doing this episode alone. No, we are not. This video is our first ever collaboration <laughs> with a brilliant channel that goes by the name of Geek Ammo, where they talk about a bunch of geeky things such as Star Wars, Marvel, DC. And don't forget their awesome gameplays. How could you? How could you forget it? This list is in no particular order, so to start us off, we got Justin. Here we go. All right, first off on our list, we want to see what are their plans to do with Princess Leia. We were all shocked to hear when Carrie Fisher had a heart attack on a flight. Then we got the devastating news on December 27th when we found out Carrie Fisher had passed away. With her playing a significant role in Episode 7, this left us all to wonder what are they going to do with then Princess, now General Leia. I feel like she's too big of a player to just let her right off into the sunset, especially during a war. And also, I feel like it would be in poor taste just to kill her off. Yeah. There are people saying that they want to CGI her just like they did in Rogue One. I still feel very uncomfortable with them doing that. But whatever Lucasfilms chooses to do, I feel like we'll all be satisfied with it. Yes, yeah. I mean, whatever you do, you gotta do it tastefully. The next thing we want to see in Episode 8 would have to be Kylo Ren versus Luke and Rey. We've only gotten a small glimpse of these fierce warriors in Rey's vision in The Force Awakens and we're dying to know more. This group killed a whole generation of Jedi and made arguably the best Jedi of all time go into a self-imposed exile. My dream is to see Rey and Luke back to back, Mace Windu and Obi-Wan style, fighting off these dark side knights. Where we'd get to see the raw power of this young Padawan and how deadly a Jedi Master can be in combat. Another thing we want to see in Episode 8 is how exactly does the Dark Side train their pupils? We all seen how Yoda trains Luke Skywalker in Empire Strikes Back. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but uh, Yoda was getting chased by seagulls there on Dagobah when he was training Luke. Run, 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 jump. I can be a backpack while you run. Swing from a hairy vine. I can be a backpack while you climb. Alright, but in all seriousness, <laughs> what does the dark side do to get their people so strong? Do they make them focus on their emotions and make them relive their worst moments? Or do they put them in life and death situations where only the strong will survive? The ultimate power of the dark side! <laughs> this was, this is good. We'll add lightning in post. <laughs> you bet, if you don't add lightning, that's just gonna look dumb. The next thing that we want to see in Star Wars Episode 8 Arguably, the thing I want to see it the most is the intro to the Grey Jedi. There's been a lot of speculation ever since we got the title reveal, Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi. We all figured that this is referring to Luke, and that left the fandom screaming, no! Don't kill Luke. We've been waiting 30 plus years for his triumphant return just for him to kick the bucket. You mean like Han Solo? <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> Too soon. Relax, I believe that this is because the Jedi Order was flawed, and that is why Luke is seeking the first Jedi Temple to find the origin of the Force. That acknowledging both aspects of the Force is the only way to bring true balance. We get hints of this in the Legends universe, which is no longer canon, and also the Clone Wars and Rebels TV shows that are canon. Bringing in the idea of a Grey Jedi, someone who's not a Jedi, and not a Sith, but something in the middle, is a really cool concept that would play well on screen and shut up a lot of people who say that these trilogies are too similar. Last but not least, that we want to see in episode 8, we are going to hand it off to our friends Geek Ammo. Thanks New World Nerds for having us on, and if you don't know at home, I'm George. And I'm Max. And we are Geek Ammo. So yeah. today we're going to be doing our pick for uh, the most anticipated thing about Star Wars episode 8. Now we're big Star Wars fans on our channel, so we do all sorts of Star Wars videos. So go and check those out if you get a chance. But Max, what was our top pick? So we decided to pick the uh, return of... The Jedi. Huh? Return no, of the Jedi. Return, oh, return of Luke uh, and, and and seeing him obviously in action. Mm -hmm. I think that's definitely the, yeah. the thing I'm most looking forward mm -hmm. to. And the whole um, sort of training of Rey, and, like mm -hmm. him and Rey, you know, to in and fro in, to in and fro in, yeah. about, you know. Yeah. You know. Having a few beers. Like, that's it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So The one thing I can say about Force Awakens is there wasn't enough Luke, really, was there? No, no. <laughs> I mean, uh, that amazing uh, line at the end. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing Luke. I mean, there's been rumours that there's going to be a scene between he him and Carrie Fisher, uh, Luke and Leia. And now I think, I mean, that's that going to be, be good, yeah. extra special now because of what happened to Carrie Fisher. But... I really want to see that anyway, you know, mm. Luke and Leia, two iconic characters. I would have loved to have seen Luke and Han. I mean, I'm gutted that we're not oh, going to get yeah. to see Luke and Han ever That's again. That's true. But, um, I haven't actually thought about that. that yeah. yeah, oh. oh. So, do you want a moment, Max? I will have a moment. <laughs> Hello, darkness. 
Yes, my old friend. Um, but yeah, so that's what, and I'm really looking forward to see that green lightsaber in action. Yes, I really want. If a bit, does he still have it though? I, I'm we've sure had this he discussion. Does. We've had this argument. We'll do it in another video, maybe. Okay. We'll have this so argument. I mean, we'll have way, it out, yeah. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I really want a scene like in Rogue One. The, it's a dark corridor. You know, there's some stormtroopers bearing down the corridor. And, and then, then in the dark, I don't think he'll be as brutal see, as me. No, he won't be. But you see the lightsaber ignite, and he's like, "Excuse me, guys, can I?" Uh, <laughs> can I just, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Excuse, excuse me. Can I just? Uh, yes. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> and, like a really British sort of way. Uh, yeah. Sorry. I'm uh, oh, sorry. Uh, I'll just, uh, yeah. So yeah, that is our top pick. Yeah. The return of Luke Skywalker. I mean, who is not looking forward mm. to see Mark Hamill? Mark Hamill's amazing in everything. Yes. And again, thank you very much for having us on uh, yeah. New World Nerds. And go and check out our channel if you haven't Please, already. If you and like, you know, if like you like what, what, did, what you see, yeah. subscribe. Yeah. Well, those are some pretty good ideas, guys. That's great. We definitely want to see that too. Me and Justin both definitely love all the stuff that you guys are doing over there. People who are watching this, make sure to tune into Geek Ammo. Thanks again, Geek Ammo, for collaborating over here with us in this video. We really appreciate it. We're definitely up for many more. If you guys enjoyed this, head over to their channel. We'll leave a link in the description below of their channel so you guys can go and subscribe to them. If you guys are here for Geek Ammo, go and subscribe to our channel, you know? Do Press it. The button right Do, here. it. Right here. Do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> to keep up with the latest in the nerd world, follow us on Twitter at New World Nerds. Follow Follow me at Superman Nico. Follow me at New World underscore Gamer. If you enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like down below and comment on what you guys want us to do next. Also comment what you guys want to see in episode 8. Also make sure to follow at Geek Ammo on Twitter. Are you excited for episode 8? We are. And let us know how excited you are for episode 8. And make sure to keep nerding out there, true believers.